scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. Hey folks, how are you doing? This is your tech tuber Rahul. Hello friends, in this short quick video, I will tell you how you can run any plugin which you are not able to run in your Final Cut Pro. For example, if I show you, let's launch your Final Cut Pro. For example, let's talk about uh, MTuber 2. It's a plugin. This plugin is in .moti file, so it comes under titles. If you have already seen other videos, you must be aware that if you go into movies folder, into the motion templates, and there you have titles folder, and then you have uh, your plugin. For example, let's talk about the backgrounds plugin. If we go into backgrounds, we have all these plugins which are shown over here. So if you have done up to here correctly, you won't face any mistake. Most of the videos talk about this procedure only where they tell you that it should be placed into the right file. For example, .moti files come under titles and different files comes under different heads like composition effects generators. Also, you need to make sure uh, you have put the extension to any file name as dot localized this you need to ensure this is done then only the files you will add will reflect you on your final cut pro so we are not talking about these points let's get directly into what we need to do if you have a plugin placed into the right location but you still are not able to use this plugin and getting and getting this uh, caution mark with t symbol so in such case if you go to the file itself so you have this abstract.moti file placed over here there are many videos which will tell you that you need to uh, open this file with uh, a text editor and edit the versions uh, accordingly to the version of your uh, Final Cut Pro. So if that is the problem, your problem will be solved just by updating your Final Cut Pro. Because your Final Cut Pro version needs to be the latest compared to the version of the file, the details mentioned in this .moti file. I won't go too much technical about that. But what I'm going to share with you is not shared in any video and i discovered it by going through a lot of forums and all a lot of discussions which people did so if you have a file and it's not working as you can see it is showing with this symbol for example squares is working perfectly so it would work but abstract file has some problem in this so what you need to do is first of all to diagnose what's the problem with the file which you have placed you need to install motion apple motion application because this application will tell you what exactly the problem you have so this is the key for diagnosis so if you have this file you right click on it you go to open with and then click on motion so this is a motion file once you click it will open up into motion and there it will show you the main problem which is the reason that this file is not working so it is showing me that there are three generators which are missing namely separator 1 separator 2 separator 3 so these separators we are the problem they are missing somewhere this generator with name separator is something which is used by motion vfx it doesn't have any role uh, in the effects you see in your plugin so you just click ok and then you see all the elements of this file at the top most you see separators all you need to do is remove this file removing this file will not create any problem for uh, the animation you have so you simply do cut or delete any any one of these you can do so for example you did delete and all you do need to do is save this for saving you just need to press command plus s 
it will ask you you want to save a duplicate file or, no, or you want to save it in place of the original file you can do either of these i do save original because deleting a separator named generator won't affect my moti file once this is done all you need to do is close your motion and you are good to go if you come to a final cut pro you close this up now you go and launch your final cut pro again the problem will be solved because once we opened the moti file the main reason for this file not playing was uh, the missing generator which we have removed because that generator will not affect anything about this abstract file once you go over there and you can see it's working fine so this is the abstract and it's working fine and that caution symbol with t has gone away so that's how you can actually diagnose and get rid of the problem if your problem is not solved by following all the videos which you have seen online thank you very much that's it in this video this is your tech tuber rahul i'll be back with another solution for you